title of this clip is If Jesus Were the Team Captain. So I, I was just thinking about this whole disfellowshipping people because they make a mistake or they have an addiction, which it's interesting. The therapist I went to today literally said that it's a disease. And I said to her, is it, or is it, is it a choice? And she was kind of like, it's a disease. So let's just say addictions are diseases. So here you have a religion literally expelling people out of the congregation because they have a disease. I know several people who have been disfellowshipped because they were battling alcoholism or a narcotic addiction. <sighs> okay, they, they disfellowship teenagers and, and young adults who have sex one time and then go and tell on themselves. Uh, they they disfellowship people. I should make a list of all the things. Well, you can go read the Shepherd the Flag of God book. The list is probably in there, but um, disfellowshipped for having a, a temper problem where they swear a lot and can't control their temper and they they scream and yell. They don't know how to manage their emotions. So basically, Watchtower is kind of like Team Pharisee because they want to have all the, the players with the best stats. They want to be like the Yankees. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying? They want the best stats. Everybody has publisher cards. They look good on paper. Versus Jesus. So like when Jesus was on earth, who did he pick for his team? He picked all the rejects. The people, the prostitutes, the tax collectors, the sinners, the lepers, the blind, the lame the barren, all the rejects that the Pharisees didn't want cluttering up their synagogue. So it's just really interesting like what Watchtower has become. Because I don't think that's how it started in the beginning, at least with Russell. I don't think it was his goal. You know, Freemasonry roots aside. Um, I don't think it was Russell's goal from the outset to create another team Pharisee. But that's the warning example for all of us when we start creating our own new communities that we never become Watchtower 2.0s. I'm done for the day. This was a lot of rambling. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to Allie's Big Toe.